Have y'all ever had a relaxer turn green? I'm going to show you what to do about it. So this is a relaxer. We're going to mix it up. It's mild. Standard application. You know what to do. Subscribe. Go ahead and let it process for a minute. This is when it starts turning green. So yeah, the problem starts happening now. It's oxidizing. It's doing something crazy. I don't know. It always does it. So this is what we're going to do to fix it. Now, this is my secret. I don't tell everybody, but I'm going to kind of let y'all in on a little something, something. So this is after we've processed. We've rinsed it out. Um, we're looking at it. I think I use a stabilizer on her, and we use a stabilizer to kind of play with the chemicals and turn them into something else. It's okay. I know exactly how you feel. I, I just know. You feel like... I'm up and running away from my problems because I don't know how to solve them. Now what we do is we mix developer, whether it be 10 to 40 volume, I've used them both. And you want to choose on pretty much the integrity of the client's hair. If her hair is already kind of weak from the relaxer, you just want to go with the, um, the lower volume. You want to let that sit on the hair for about, I say anywhere between one minute and three minutes. Sometimes the client will be a little irritated and you got to take it off. So after that, you want to neutralize the hair again. I neutralized two additional times. After that, you got squeaky clean hair, honey, super straight. Go ahead and do your reconstructor with that. Blow it out. And I want you to see that there is no green, no brass, no brown. It's just, you know, clean, crystal clear hair. And the client loves it. So... Thank you guys for um, coming by. Check out my YouTube channel at Too Much Hair. Oh yeah, please share this video. Let me know what you think.